What's up guys? Today is Monday. That means it's Cornwell Monday. We're on Mr. Joe's truck, so let's take a look at what he's got. So man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times are hard in Mississippi. Hey guys, how y'all doing? I hope y'all had a great holiday weekend. I know I did, because I made sure I got me one extra nap in every day. Not often I ever get to do that on a holiday. I'm usually starting from the day before and going warp 80, 40 hour days, and um, never getting no time to actually re relax. So I had to leave home only one time, go to town, get more food, because I was a grilling demon. Grilled every kind of food we could make. And uh, it was just great. But it was that grilling. Hey, I'm telling you. Um, you didn't was, drink any cold beer, did you? You know, I did. Cold beer, cold drinks. <laughs> it was cold and alcohol. I pretty much found it. There you go. Now, you notice my shirt. Give blood. Now, it don't take a whole lot to do that. It's something I've been doing since I've been 18. Um, Matter of fact, it's kind of dear to me about giving blood. And I hope everybody can find time to take a half an hour, give some blood. Every time you hear from a blood bank, they are in need. Um, it's critical, it's bad, it saves a life. So you don't have to run into a burning building and pull somebody out. I know you all would. Flip a car over like those teenagers did to pull some people out, you know, high school kids. But if you can, uh, Spare two hours a year, that gives you four times to uh, give blood, you can save lives. Because they never end up throwing that stuff away. It all gets used up. When uh, we're up north, and my daughter was having uh, our grandson, and then she had complications, she had a good drug blood transfusion. You know, and they're all, you know, when I got to get in there and find that out, I said, all right, I said, nah, that's why I give blood all the time. I said, well, we got to thank some people up here that gave blood. You don't know who they are, but it's a good thing. There okay, go. enough of that. But yes, find time to take a half an hour. There's blood banks all over. I think my count is plus of 11 gallons wow. if we add that up from the three states that I give it. So I don't just talk it, I do it. There you go. That's a lot of blood, 11 gallons. Oh, well, when you consider they only take a pint at a time, it That's is. It. But I always offer to give them, you know, a couple bags when I'm hooked up, but they never do that. <laughs> I says, that's all right. I can drink some wine or something, you know, build this up. I got an oil filter uh, player set. Oh, those are some big ones. Cornwell set. Yes, they are. They will, uh, that's really good as some joker you work with doesn't listen to you. You can get behind him, grab him by the crane line. He'll listen. He'll say yes whenever you tell him to say yes. He'll say no when you tell him to say no. It works. That's it. That's a big one. This, this here set, um, I just looked at the price. I think it's like 75 bucks. You get, you get both of these for that. Those are lifetime warranty? Of course. They say Cornwall. Ho, ho, ho. There you go. I have a couple sets of gear wrench. One's a mini torque spit set. Okay. One's a mini screwdriver set. Uh -huh. I'd have to put on my glasses to find which is the smallest, but we're talking pretty oh, tiny. Tiny, tiny. What size is that one? A double on. Double on. Oh, that's a little. So there's a number one I think is even smaller. So it's in there. But what these all have is a top spin, so when you're putting pressure on, right. without having to relieve, you can be turning it, put pressure on, and they all spin. Uh, 35, 36 bucks, or it's 35, 36 bucks, I believe the Torx ones cost about a buck more. It's not bad at all. That's a nice set in those cases. They come in handy. Alright, we have one more thing here to show you here. It's an almond. Magnetic pickup tool. I just usually call it the GM2. Um, it should pick up 16 pounds. I'm trying to find something to pick up here, but 
watch me figure we'll pick up the weapon of war and uh, please can't think it that weighs over 16 pounds so we'll put it on there it'll extend so I'm just gonna hold it close to the magnet maybe Are you there? yep that's heavy My <laughs> so probably picks up more than it's rated for according to according to the is there a pry bar set? What does that run? 22 bucks. Well, I know guys, I use the little one and it's ready to pick up two pounds, I believe. Yep, it? two pounds. Two pounds. And I use it all the time, so. And this here picks up the weapon of war. That sounds bad to the moment. How much did you say that was? $22. 22 bucks. That's like a lot of bending over right there. You know. <laughs> That's a thing. It'll go grab it for you. That's it. That's awesome. Um, I think that's what I had because I had something else, but we've done it before. And uh, like I said, I hope you all had a great holiday weekend. I know I did. And I look forward to next week. There you go. Like always, guys, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe down here below, and if you're interested in any of these products that Mr. Joe's got, be okay. sure to give him a text. His card will be at the end. But you guys have a great one, and we'll catch you next time.